What's going on? This is your boy Real Gamer Twenty Seven, and uh, once again, I want to thank you for joining my channel. Uh, yes, I just want to put my little two cents in on this whole entire Ferguson situation, and it just sickens me. I'm just sad. I'm really sad for Mike Brown's parents to go through something like that. I'm very sad, and I'm very sickened of the chaos that is going on out there in Ferguson. It doesn't make sense. Why the hell do you want to tear up your own city? Like, it doesn't make sense at all. A lot of those places that is burnt down are owned by black people. So, yes, we already know that the officer, Darren Wilson, did not get indicted. You know, I'm I'm still pissed off. You know, like, it wasn't fair. At least... At least George Zimmerman got indicted. You know, at least he went through a trial. But, you know, it, it doesn't make sense. Why is it? Why is this officer not going through trial? Like, they, you know, they didn't even give Mike Brown's family a fighting chance. But it's, it's sad that they swept the case under the rug and said, you know, ain't nothing happening, y'all. Go back to your lives. You know, yes, I know. Mike Brown, he went. And he bullied that store clerk for a pack of Swiss sweets. Yes, I'm not saying that Mike Brown is a good kid. He might be a good kid. He probably is a good kid, and he just made a silly mistake. A silly mistake. But is it worth getting shot six times, shot dead out in the cold? Like, yes, I know there were some inconsistencies with some stories, you know, with the witnesses and everything. But it all, you know, comes down into why do you shot him dead? Like, police officers are trained. They are trained to take down a suspect. I don't care how big that person is. If you need to call for backup, call for backup. If you think you're going to shoot somebody dead, don't pursue them. Call for backup or get your taser out. There's got to be other alternatives. Shoot them in the leg. Shoot them in the arm. Shoot them in non-vital spots. Like, this, this don't make sense at all. And, you know... I'm just most, you know, I'm really mostly angry at my own people. I'm frustrated. I'm furious. Oh, why the fuck do you want to burn down your own town? What the fuck is wrong with y'all motherfuckers? Is this how you represent us? Is this what Martin Luther King, like, like what the fuck? Did he get his ass beat multiple times for no goddamn reason? He took those ass beatings for our fucking rights. And look how y'all fucking, fucking treating this shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, first it was the whole Trayvon Martin situation. I felt that there was no justice in that situation. It was no justice. You know, I'm hearing all these fucking racial comments and all, you know, the whole entire social media call him a thug. Like, just the, the whole entire, call him the N-word, the, the monkey. It's just, it's just, it's sad. You know, this kid, he was 17 at the time. He He's dead. He has no chance of defending himself because a neighborhood watchman decided to take the law into his own hands. And when he called 911, the first thing they told him, um, they told him, don't pursue him. Do not pursue him. What he did. He pursued him. And he shot him dead. And he's off. You know, he, he he's he's off, you know, scot free. Like, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Like, you know, basically that was basically like a couple years later, and now the whole Mike Brown incident and you know, with the whole entire store robbery thing, it did not make it any better with his case. And, you know, it, it's like you got multiple witnesses versus one man, one cop. He's his own witnesses versus a lot of people, which I guess black witnesses don't count, according to a lot of people. So I'm just sad that as of, of Americans that we is still going through this shit. Like, I'm just fucking sick and tired of this shit. You know, you know, as a as a black man, as a, a man that been through I've been through some some racial some racial, you know, situations, you know, been Profile, you know, by officers been profiled by some older white ladies tucking their purses in, you know, if I'm right next to her in the elevator, you know. Yes, I've been through that. I've been through that. There's nothing I can do. 
there's nothing I can do to change their hearts. You know, I, I there I don't I don't know what what to do. Only thing I can do is be nice to them. That's all I can do. But what whatever how they feel about you know not just blacks or whoever, that's that's between them and God. I know how I am. You know, I don't see nobody's skin color. I teach I teach my my son and my daughter do not look at nobody's skin color. You see them as a human being. You see them as a human being. And one thing that a lot of people forgot to mention, do y'all know in the Ten Commandments it says, "Love thy neighbor as thyself." That goes for everybody. It goes for everybody. Everybody, you can't call your you can't call yourself a man of God and call yourself a Christian, and all, all of a sudden you know, all of a sudden you know you see somebody that's not your color and you just want to just 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 call him all kinds of names in the books because he he doesn't look like you, you know. But like I said, this whole entire situation in Ferguson sickens me. And yes, there's a whole, a whole lot of protests in other states and everything, but there is one little thing that I, I didn't mention and. I want to bring this up to y'all. You know, I would love for us as people to stand up against black on black crimes. I, I just have to bring it up. I have to bring it up because as a black man, as a black man in America, I live deep south in Texas. I live in Texas, y'all. So, yeah, the stories about Texas is true. There's a lot of racism down here. Lots of racism. But what do I do? I overcome them. I overcome them. And I tell them, I love you, my brother. I love you as you as like you one of me. Like, they can hate me all they want to, but it's not going to change me. It is not going to change me. It's not. But as a black man, I'm just sick and tired of black on black crime. I'm sick of it. I'm seeing... I'm seeing too much, too much in the city of Detroit, too much in the city of Dallas, too much, and and fucking just everywhere across America. I'm just sick of it. Like, come on, yo, you know, a lot of y'all want to protest against if a white man killed a black man or whatever. If it has something to do with racial, we is all up on that. We want to get the, the black, the activist, civil rights activists, everybody on the case. But when it comes to black on black crime, we don't say shit. We need to fucking come together and put an end to this shit. I'm sick of it. I love my people to death. I love being a black man. It ain't going to never change. I'm never going to change the way I am. I'm proud to be a black man. But this black on black crimes have to end. It has to end. I was almost killed by a black man four years ago. Four years ago. My son was an infant at that time. He just now turned four years old. My son almost didn't get to know his father. And it wasn't a white man that put a gun to my head. It was a black man. So if we don't stand up. To racial profile and all kinds of stuff. Let's stand up to black on black crime. Let's stand up. Let's just stand up for human rights, period. Let's stand up for everything that is wrong. Like, come on, y'all. Let's stand up and work together as one, as America, as being a human being, period. Anyway, guys, y'all y'all let me know how y'all feel about the whole entire situation in Ferguson, man. Are y'all tired of our, of our country getting divided by the day? Are y'all tired of this shit? Are y'all getting sick and tired of being sick and tired? Because I am. I am. I see us as human beings. I see us as a human race. Do y'all see us as a human race? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Like, comment, subscribe, and once again, it's your boy, Rick Gamer 27 and y'all have a good day.